Did you know that doors don't open if you don't knock on them? This is something that kind of bugs me when people do it, but there's something significant, I think, to be learned from this. It's standard now in a lot of schools that the classroom doors are always locked. What this means though on a day-to-day -day basis is that anyone that leaves the classroom is locked out. When that person returns, he or she should knock on the door and someone has to go to the door and open it up and let them in. That's pretty simple, right? Never mind what I said in previous how to annoy a substitute videos about kids who don't open the door for people or kids that slide the little thing over the window and laugh about it. Forget about that. What I'm talking about today is on the other side of the door. It's the people that go outside the classroom and instead of walking up to the door, knocking on it, and standing in the window so that a person can see that there is someone there, they walk up to the door, they pull down on the handle as hard as they can, and then that's it. They even step to the side away from the window, and I know what they're doing. They're getting out of the way of the door, but it doesn't really make it easy for me from the inside to know that there's someone really there. And it's even worse when the students are the ones that just go up to the door and kind of just put their hand on the handle. There's a piece of metal right here in case you don't know what I'm touching. But they put their hand on the handle just so lightly to see if it's, oh yeah, it's still locked. And then they step to the side and you don't even hear that someone is at the door. And I've had this happen before. People have actually gotten mad that I didn't answer the door when they were standing there for three or four minutes. The only reason anyone in the class knew they were out there is that they kicked the door after getting angry for standing there for so long. A thing about me is that I like to see significant meaning in mundane things. So with this door situation, what do I see? I see the lesson that if you don't knock, doors won't open. If you don't go after something with passion, things aren't going to happen. If you don't let people know, hey, I'm here, I'm outside the door, let me in, you're not going to be invited in. Something my uncle always told me was that the squeaky wheel gets the oil. On the flip side of that, you could say the squeaky wheel gets replaced. It's just a matter of perspective. But for the purposes of this video, we're talking about the positive side of that. If you don't knock, then doors won't open. Are you afraid to knock on doors? Leave a comment down below and let's talk about that. And if this was your first time here to Capo TV and you also think school is a joke, then hit that subscribe button now. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.